Hi, I'm Robert Dabney Jr. and welcome to another episode of Hidden History, the Black Edition, the Black Edition, the Black Edition. Today we'll meet James Armistead Lafayette, born in 1760, dying in 1832. James Armistead was born into slavery around the year 1760 in New Kent, Virginia. His life took a wonderful turn after he requested permission from his master to join the Revolutionary War, and he enlisted with the French Allied units of Marquise de Lafayette. As a member of the French Allied unit, Armistead took everything he'd experienced in his life and used it to his advantage. He did this by playing the role of an escaped slave in order to infiltrate the British Army. He played this role so well that he was eventually assigned to work with the turncoat Benedict Arnold, gaining pertinent information about the movements of the British forces and their allies. Armistead would take this information to Lafayette and General Washington, providing them with advanced knowledge of the plans of British troops and stopping their advancements before bringing harm to American troops and their allies. His actions led directly to the defeat of the British after Lord Charles Cornwallis surrendered on October 17, 1781. Unfortunately for Armistead, his status as a spy kept him from being registered as a soldier, and this prevented him from benefiting from the Act of 1783, which freed all slave soldiers that fought in the Revolution. So, at the end of the Revolutionary War, and the beginning of the founding of this great nation that he put himself in so much danger for, James had to return to being a slave. For years, he petitioned the government, asking for his freedom and never gaining it. That is, until Marquise de Lafayette discovered that his number one spy was still a slave. To help, Lafayette wrote a letter to Congress himself. History records that this action was all it took for James Armistead to receive his freedom. He received manumission in 1787 and established a home on a 40-acre Virginia farm complete with a wife and kids. A $40 per year pension by the state of Virginia for his service during the war and most importantly, his freedom. James Armistead added the last name Lafayette as a measure of gratitude for the help he received from General Marquis de Lafayette in securing his freedom. James Armistead Lafayette died in 1832 at the age of 72. This episode of Hidden History highlighted James Armistead Lafayette, another of his stories, Forgotten Kings. I'm Robert Dabney Jr. wishing you peace and prosperity.